welcome back. I want to explain today how we can describe the mapping of a point from the 3D world onto a 2D camera image. So I want to explain in detail how this transformation actually looks like that we can use in order to describe how a point with an X, Y and Z coordinate in some world reference frame can be mapped onto a camera image resulting in an X, Y pixel coordinate. We assume here we have a camera that follows the central projection, which is um, a typical model that we use in order to describe cameras, actually one of the simplest models, following a so-called um, pinhole camera model. The idea of the central projection is that there's a single point, the projection center, and basically all rays of light pass through that point. And in this case, we can describe the, the mapping of a point with an X, Y, and Z coordinate from the 3D world onto an 2D pixel location with this simple form, x equals px. Lowercase x here is the pixel coordinate, p is this projection matrix, this transformation we want to talk about, and capital X is the point in the 3D world. And in this mapping, several coordinate systems are involved, actually four. The first one is the world coordinate system. So we have a point in the 3D world with an x, y, z coordinate, and this coordinate system has an origin. And then we have a camera coordinate system, which is basically a coordinate system which is, has its origin 0, 0, 0 in the projection center of your camera and basically expresses everything with respect to this projection center. Then we have the coordinate system of the image plane. So this is a 2D plane onto which the 3D world is projected to. And we have our sensor frame, um, which describes actually the pixel location or the pixel numbers where the pixels are. So the first thing we need to do is we need to describe where is our camera. So we need to describe the location of the camera in this world coordinate system. And for that, we need to describe where is the projection center to be expressed with a variable called XO or X0, um, which is an X, Y, and Z location of the projection center of our camera. And then rotation matrix comes with it, or three rotation parameters, your patrol, for example, to describe where the camera is actually looking to in the 3D world. Um, then what uh, we typically have, we have um, a projection from the 3D world onto the 2D image plane, which is involved in here. And um, this is the fact that we have a 3D point with three coordinates and is mapped to a plane and only has two coordinates. So we have a loss of one dimension in here. And this is this central projection. In addition to this, the camera has internal parameters, its intrinsics, which are typically encoded in a so-called calibration matrix, which describe basically where is the chip glued onto the image plane, how far is the image plane away from uh, the projection center, and this kind of information, which then leads to the mapping in the end towards our sensor frame. Um, in sum, this is a transformation which has 11 degrees of freedom, also called the DLT six for the extrinsics, so the camera location, and five for the intrinsics, or sometimes even only four parameters, plus a number of nonlinear parameters which come from my lens distortion. So depending on your lens, you need additional parameters to describe the special distortions that your lens has. And so what we can do if we kind of put all this together, so the transformation um, from the world coordinate system to the camera coordinate system, this projection and the camera intrinsics, then we end up with an equation of that form. So P consists of a um, three by four matrix, which has certain entries in here related to the extrinsics, these are R and X zero, and then um, the internal parameters K, which describe the, uh, the mapping inside your camera. It should be noted that this transformation from the world to the pixel coordinate, so x equals px, um, is a mapping that only works in that direction. We cannot easily invert it. Um, the reason for this is that we have a 3D point in the world that's mapped to a 2D coordinate, so there's a loss of information. We cannot simply invert it and recover the 3D location of the point. But we can identify a straight line on which this point actually lies. That means that every pixel basically corresponds to a direction in space and we know that all the points which lie on that line will actually be mapped to the same pixel coordinate. So I cannot fully invert this mapping, but I can partially invert in the sense that I have a 1D solution space. And this 1D solution space can be expressed as a straight line starting in X0 in the projection center and then um, through the calibration matrix, the rotation matrix and the inverse, um, we can have basically a direction vector in space and we know that this point lies somewhere 
on that straight line. And this is something we can use to um, recover 3D coordinates of points if we combine multiple camera images from different locations. So because if you have, for example, an observation taken from two different locations, we basically have two straight lines in space and where those lines intersect, that should be the location of that 3D point. I hope that was useful. Thank you very much for your attention.